Human behavior can be a mystery. Why do people and organizations behave in certain ways? Or make funny decisions that are hard to understand? Behavioral economics or insights are helping public bodies across the world to answer these questions and deliver better policies for better lives. Behavioral insights is not a trend. It's being rooted in public bodies all around the world. The OECD has already collected over 150 case studies. Public institutions have used behavioral insights in these sectors and more. It has been widely used to help in the implementation of policies and rules. Those using behavioral insight should adopt a set of standards to maintain the integrity, relevance and impact of behavioral approaches. The OECD has provided guidance on this. 1. Be strategic and systematic. 2. Start with good, reliable data. 3. Validate through replication. 4. Apply to segments of society for special or targeted interventions. 5. Evaluate. 6. Publish results, good and bad. Behavioural approaches should move beyond looking at the individual and focus on organisational behaviour in industry, regulated firms and public institutions. To find out more about the behavioural work at the OECD, go to our webpage and learn how behavioural insights are giving a nudge to better policies and better lives. Au nom de l'Agence du revenu du Canada, nous voulons souligner la publication du rapport de l'OCDE sur l'économie comportementale. As Canada's National Tax Administrator, the CRA recognizes the potential of behavioral insights to contribute to our priorities of improving service to Canadians and increasing compliance. To date, we have undertaken projects that incorporate these principles. Nous sommes heureux de partager avec vous les résultats de nos expériences et nous apprendrons sans nul doute beaucoup des autres pays. Merci. Regulation Commission of Columbia understood through the usage of behavioral economics principles that the consumer's decision-making process for communication services does not fit the predictions of the classic rational models used in traditional economics theory. We have verified this by applying consumer psychology exercises to a range of regulatory proposals, and we have also tested them in the field. All of this work has prepared us for adopting better consumer protection regulation and making also that regulation easier to implement. The final result has been more economic benefits for consumers of communication services. As a behavioral science nonprofit, we're delighted to have lent our support to this work. It's a rich source of information for everyone interested in using behavioral insights to strengthen communities and to improve people's lives. The opportunity ahead is limitless. We think the pace of change will only increase as policymakers and practitioners find common ground both around improving existing programs and ensuring that new initiatives are built with behavioral science in their DNA. Hello from New York, from the United Nations Development Program. As the innovation facility, we have been driving behavioral insights for the past years within UNDP and working with our partners from government and civil society. Last year, we had the opportunity to work with Maya Shankar and Laurie Foster on embedding behavioral insights in eight of our initiatives and published a new report, Behavioral Insights at the United Nations, that we invite you to take a look at. It's on undp.org slash innovation. Thanks again for the launch of the report and looking forward to working with you. Behavioral insights have moved beyond the question of why we should use them to the question of how to best benefit from them. There are new tools in our collective toolbox, not defining where we want to go, but rather helping us get there more effectively. They have improved policy design around the world and are now increasingly used to inform 
the design of our practices and procedures in our organizations, ranging from compliance to talent management. Thanks again for the launch of the report and looking forward to working with you. Thanks to the OTD team.